I had high hopes for the Intel Iris Xe platform that it would at least compete with the Ryzen 5 4500U. But if you watch my last benchmark video on this laptop, the Dell Vostro 3400, you'll see that I was left a little disappointed. If you haven't, you can go and watch it now, then come right back to this video. The link will be in the description. I'll wait. Back already? That was quick. Now that you're all caught up, you'd have noticed that the Dell Vostro came with single channel memory and so it wouldn't be a fair comparison between it and the Ryzen. So in this video we'll be upgrading this laptop with an extra 8GB 3200MHz stick of RAM which will bring it up to 16GB and make it dual channel. To save some time and not bore you with the details, I've been doing just that in the background. Another thing that should be happening in the background is you pressing that like button. If you didn't do it, you can do that now. I'll wait. Thanks for that. Now that we're done with the install, let's retest some games and just for fun, let's throw in the Ryzen 5 4500U for comparison. The laptop I use to test the Ryzen is the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 and if you want to see that benchmark video, it will be in the description. You'll want to stick around to the end where we'll be testing a game that failed to run when it had the default 8GB in single channel mode. Up first, we have Jedi Fallen Order that originally ran at 720p medium settings and was getting an average of 18 FPS. Now we're getting 22 frames per second, but this is no match for the Ryzen that managed to run at 768p and 29 frames per second. Second we have Overwatch, running at 1080 low settings with 8GB in single channel. We got 32 frames per second, but at 16GB dual channel, we have a 63% increase for a whopping 52 frames per second. And again the Ryzen 5 outclasses it, running at 1080 high settings and getting an average of 80 FPS. Next is Fortnite running at 900p low settings with rendering mode set to performance. We were getting 71 FPS and now it's up to 98 frames per second. But you guessed it, Ryzen wins again running at 1080p and clocking in 90 frames per second. Fourth is GTA 5 running at 900p normal settings, we were getting 30 frames per second and now after the upgrade we're up to 47 frames per second. Over 50% performance increase in dual channel. Ryzen as usual is way ahead getting 43 frames per second at 1080p normal. And lastly for the comparison we have Apex Legends at 720p low settings getting 30 frames per second at first and now 32 frames per second after. This might seem small, but there was a significant improvement in smoothness, making this actually playable now. Ryzen was far ahead running at 768p and getting 42 frames per second. 10 frames per second more even though it was at higher settings. And as promised for the bonus, we have Destiny 2 that would originally crash on the 8GB single channel RAM. It's getting an average of around 45 frames per second, running at 720p low. And there you have it, upgrading an Intel Iris Xe to dual channel is a worthwhile upgrade and it netted us an average FPS increase of 37%. This however was not enough for it to even come close to its counterpart, the Ryzen 5 4500U, that was in a class of its own. If you're interested in another comparison, check out this video where I did another before and after, cable managing and fixing the RGB in my PC. 